All right, so uh, last time I did this video, I presented a really idyllic version of what it's like to be a CS major at Stanford. And I thought today I'd do a more realistic version. It starts with me going to office hours because I need help. <laughs> For context, I'm in a class called Intro to Human Computer Interaction, and we're in groups of three to four, and we're supposed to make an app together. Problem is, a lot of people don't have app experience, and that includes our group. We also had some group troubles, if you've been following along. Um, one of our group members didn't do any work, and then he ditched us, so that's great. <laughs> I have a problem with the app right now where it's not like transferring data between screens. So hopefully I'll get that figured out. Let's do it. It's actually a very nice fall day today. I'm very impressed. I'm just walking. Hopefully I'll get some help on this problem. <laughs> So at office hours, I sat down with this TA who was super helpful. She helped me think through and solve the problem that I was facing in my code. After she left, I stayed in the cafe and started coding the night away. As you can see, it is dark outside and I'm still sitting at my computer. This is the only place that I've been today. To be honest, this is what 90% of computer science work looks like. You just sit and code until you finish your work. And when you code, it's not like the movies where this guy in sunglasses magically has all the answers. Often, you won't know how to do what you want, so you'll have to Google how to implement something. There are helpful websites like Stack Overflow, where many coding questions are asked and answered. This website has saved my life on multiple occasions, and it's common practice for developers to get help here. Oh, and if I look confused and frustrated, it's because I am. That's because there's usually no right answer in code. There are always multiple ways to code something, and a big part of CS is just deciding what is the most efficient and fastest way to get the job done. And that's computer science for you. I'm literally the last one here. So I've been here for seven hours and I'm going a little crazy. So I'm gonna go home work on this on my couch. Oof. It's so nice to have companions to work with. Goodbye. Now I'm walking back home and I'm pretty sad that I still have so much to do and that I spent the entire day on my computer. And I talked to one person, but I made some progress, so I learned so much. I basically learned like three weeks of JavaScript in one day. Crazy. The good thing is that campus is really pretty at night, so I guess I get to see some nice lights and buildings. So I'm back in my car. It's a rough life as a CS major. I don't know why I chose this life. I severely, I regret it. <laughs> the way that this class is structured is that you only have like two weeks to like produce a fully functioning app. And with my situation where our team member, our fourth team member, left us during the last two weeks of class, we don't have that extra manpower to like work on the app with us. So we're basically really screwed. Hopefully I'll get it done. Rip. Finally going back home. I'm back home. And um, guess who's gonna do more work? Me! Yay! So here I am coding in my room as one does. The good thing is that my team was working with me remotely so I was chatting with them and coding together and it felt like a little late night squad. I also made myself some edamame because that is the best late night snack. It's 1 a.m. and I'm still coding. Doesn't mean I don't have progress. Right now I'm doing the profile page. Um, so I have Pete Davidson here and he's my model for the different tidbits we have. I'm texting the group on like different iterations and stuff. And every time 
I send it, I send like a new bio for Pete. Like this one. <laughs> you ought to have fun. I've been working on this for like 10 hours. <laughs> okay, another thing that's pretty cool. I made this. So it's like a scrollable component and eventually you'll be able to click on it and like see different stories and stuff from different people's travels. Pretty proud of this, looks pretty good. Then I went to get some carrots to munch on, but I ended up dropping them all over the ground. <laughs> so I had to pick them up as my roommate walked away with her cat slung over her shoulder. Speaking of my roommate, she was straight chilling, doing a puzzle and watching reality television. You're chilling. No, it's because I'm procrastinating. We were both hard at work on this fine evening on different yet equally complex tasks. So back to coding. I look really concerned in these shots, which is funny because I probably was concerned or confused about something. But with each hour I spent typing away, my projects got closer and closer to completion. Then, after a few more hours fueled by carrots and edamame, I was pretty happy with the progress I had made and decided to celebrate and call it a day. It's 2 a.m. I'm dead tired and I'm finally going to bed. We got some really good progress today. We're probably gonna have it done in the next few days. So, oh my goodness. Wow, I cannot wait till this is over. <laughs> good night.